Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk about the Voigtlander 21 millimeter F1.4 manual focus lens for Sony FE mount. This is a lens that a lot of people will say, well, why would I want a 21 millimeter F1.4 manual focus lens for my Sony camera, right? Well, a lot of people do enjoy shooting manual focus lenses on their Sony and Voigtlander has come out with a multitude of choices for just that and what that brings to the table. Uh, let me go back. In the past, when we shot film back in the old days, I mean, people still shoot film today, of course, but say back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, people shot lenses like this, for example, Fast Primes, F1.4 we'll use in a, as an example. People use them when the light got low because during the day they would shoot at normal apertures, F5.6, F8, and at night, those apertures wouldn't work because there was not enough light coming into the lens in order to expose the image properly. That's why lenses like this were created. We can open it up to an aperture of f1.4 and let in more light. The lens will soak in as much available light as possible, allowing us to shoot at night. That's just one aspect because today with digital cameras, we have high ISO capabilities. Some cameras going up to 100,000 ISO or possibly more and we can get those low light shots without having to have an F1.4 lens. But today, not only are these lenses good for sucking in as much available light as possible and keeping your ISOs low, it's also an aesthetic, right? Some people like to shoot with that shallow depth of field behind them uh, where they can isolate their subject to have artistic control over what they shoot. Not only can a lens like this shoot a crisp landscape, say, if you shoot it at f8 or f11, stop this down to f14 and your whole background blurs. And that's a challenge with most wide angle lenses. As a matter of fact, uh, the only 21 f14 that comes to the top of my mind, and I know there's more, I just can't think of them right now, is the Leica 21 millimeter f14 Sumalux. I believe that lens is in the $7,000 range, maybe even 8,000. This lens comes in at like $1,200 it's built like a brick. Um, it is Sony mount right here. When you turn this lens on your Sony body, the view will automatically explode so you can manual focus precisely, but it's very easy to focus a lens like this. Um, but I took this lens out yesterday with Debbie. We went to a mall in Phoenix, Metro Center Mall. Um, I used to go to this mall all the time in the 90s. I hung out there with friends um, and someone had told me that the mall was not doing very well. So we went to the mall and I filmed some footage with my GoPro and took some images with the Sony and the 21 millimeter Voigtlander and just check it out. You'll see. So Debbie and I decided to head out to a mall in Phoenix, Arizona, Metro Center, a mall I used to hang out at in the late 90s. It used to be packed, I remember, especially the holiday season, the Christmas displays, the thousands of people. And today this mall is a shell of what it once was. It is a dead mall, a mall where 80%, maybe 75% of the stores are closed down. We went there, I had my Sony a7 III with a Voigtlander 21 millimeter f1.4 lens this is a lens made for sony mount but i was struck by the mall how no one was there stores were empty yet the doors remained open it was crazy to see here's a shot with the 21 off of the upper level no one was there literally there may have been four other people in the entire mall and here it was back in the 90s much different story but it goes to show in today's day and age we're all about amazon online shopping and as a result malls around the country are deteriorating um, i used to love going to malls to seeing what i was going to buy before i buy it um, to meet up with friends at the mall to have lunch at the mall uh, just to enjoy the sights and sounds Especially, I, I was a sucker for going to the malls in the holiday season, and Metro Center um, back in the day was a pretty amazing mall. And this is the first time I've been there in probably 12 years or so, and I was just blown away at how they can keep the doors open. And there are some storefronts with product, 
but they were not open. And this was at 1.30, 2 o'clock um, on a Tuesday. And even the security and customer service desk, not a soul to be found. Um, as we walked through the mall, we did find a couple of stores that were open. We actually did some shopping because we found some shirts for $10, jeans for $15, and these were name brand. Uh, these stores that were there were seemingly closing out and, and selling things at a discount. Uh, I've heard rumors that this mall is slated to be torn down. So I want to take one last walk through. Even this store is closed um, as if they're getting ready to move out. My memories are fond of this mall and many malls across the country that I've been to. You know, in, in my age, at 50 years old, that was part of my life. The mall was a big deal. And I think in another 10 years, there will be very few malls left in the world. And I think Metro Center will be gone after the holidays of this year. That's just a prediction. I enjoyed walking around taking photos uh, with the 21 f1.4 lens. This is not a video about the lens, but it is a fantastic lens. Um, check it out. It's FE mount made by Voigtlander. Metro Center Mall, rest in peace. So let's talk about the Voigtlander Nocton line. Nocton is Voigtlander's fast series of prime lenses that all have an aperture faster than F15. Actually, F15 or faster is what designates the Nocton line. This is a Nocton lens. And Noct, you always think about low light, the Noct Nikkor, the Noct Deluxe from Leica, um, right? So Nocton in Voigtlander terms is a low light, fast aperture lens. So you're getting um, a really well-made lens. It feels just as well-made as a Leica lens. It's hefty. It's going to be much heavier, uh, but more it's squat, it's short, so it's not off balance but it's much heavier than lenses like a Sony 28 F2 or a 35 1.8. It feels solid and substantial, and that kind of gives you a level of confidence because when you're using it, you know it's a tough lens and it feels like a tough lens. Now, not everybody's going to like manual focus. It does make some things challenging, but also it's very rewarding at the same time. Now, I haven't spent too much time with this lens. I'm not a huge wide angle guy, but I understand uh, the value of a lens like this. As a matter of fact, I have used it for two or three live streams that I've done for another channel, and it's worked out great. It's isolated me as the subject. It kind of blurs the background so there's no distractions. And for photos, you have a 21 millimeter ultra-wide lens that if you're an ultra-wide kind of shooter, um, you may enjoy because of that f1.4 aperture. So this lens is not for everybody. It's manual focus. It's for Sony. Uh, but the implementation of it is really nice. As I said, when you turn that focus wheel, your image will blow up in the viewfinder or on the screen for critical focusing. That comes into play when you're shooting at f1.4. Because when you're shooting at f1.4, you want that maximum depth of field. Bokeh, bokeh, however you want to say it, this lens can deliver it if you want it. Um, it's, it's unique in the realm of wide angle lenses because most wide angle lenses are F4, uh, F3.5. It's kind of rare to get a 21 F1.4 of good quality. Uh, so the Voigtlander uh, company is pumping out some great lenses, not only for Leica M mount, but for Sony. I will be using this lens a little bit more and reporting more on it later. I just wanted to say that this is a great solution for those who want a fast aperture prime, who don't mind manual focus, who want a little more creativity in their photography, but at the same time, it's not going to be a lens for everyone because it doesn't have autofocus. But the Voigtlander is a good alternative for those who are more artistic, creative, and they want to control what's happening in the image. Not that you can't do that with autofocus, but when you shoot a manual focus lens, your whole mentality kind of changes. You feel like you're in control. And you are, because you could set that focus point to anywhere you want. And Voigtlanders also give a little bit of a different look, a more rounded look. Overall, it is a wonderful lens, again, from Voigtlander. Be sure to check it out. This came from CameraQuest.com. Stephen Gandy is the USA distributor for Voigtlander lenses. He has every Voigtlander lens you can think of, and then some. So check that out over at CameraQuest.com. And uh, I'll have a link to him in the description below if you want to see what else they offer over there. But so far, so good with the Voigtlander 21. More to come. 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye.